Hello everybody and welcome back to another part in Dragon Age Origins. Deep beneath the frostback mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the Dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozimar's impregnable construction, the Dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the Noble Assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. Hey, it's me. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Uh, of course. Okay, the way this game works is your character doesn't actually talk, so it's not like Mass Effect where you've got you choose like a decision-ish type of sentence and he comes up with something that means pretty much what the like little three words say. So in this one, you actually choose the sentence you want to say, like "Yes, let them see me as a warrior," or "Better safe than sorry, shield me," or "I wouldn't even wear the armor if not for tradition." So let them see me as a warrior. That's what I'm going to do. Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. You, my friend, are ridiculous. One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. What sort of grievances? The usual. This lord had my cousin killed. This lord seduced my wife. This lord did the exact thing I'd planned to do to him, but he did it first. <laughs> That's how dwarves work, he I guess. and bluster, and each pretends he is the honorable man in a den of thieves and assassins. Bah. The rest is worth seeing, though. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant cast who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. The proving sounds appealing. Let's have a look. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. Okay. Well. This is, uh... The dwarf named Norian, which is ridiculous, but you know what? Whatever. We'll see what happens here. So, as I said, I've only done this game on the PlayStation before, so I'm gonna have to actually learn the uh, controls of the computer and the uh, pause tactical fighting that they have in the computer version and not the. Uh, PlayStation, really. So let's see what's in this room. Nothing. Jalen? Oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Let's go see what's going on. Read a pile of books. And look in a chest. Okay, guess not. I, I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I... forgive me. Who are you? She's, uh... It seems she's one of your brother Balin's newest, um, 
companions. Lovely. Prince Balin is attending the feast being held in Lord Iduken's honor. Yes, of... of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am sorry. I will show myself out with your leave, my lord. Yes, you may go. Thank you. I will go now. Okay, well... That was interesting. Let's check my brother's closet. Oh yeah, let's take his belt. <laughs> okay, let's put it on, actually. Increases monetary gain. That's not a bad ability. Let's go to the uh, proving. I think that's where we're going. That's what it sounded like. So is Congratulations it? on being named commander, my lord. Oh, thanks. I am proud to serve the Iduke. I am at your service. Okay, let's leave this place. I couldn't find the way out. What's up? No, oh, he didn't respond. What a jerk. Okay. I could explore around and talk to people, but... Are you sure you want to go to the feast now? I doubt we can escape to see the provings once we're inside. Let's go see the provings first. I can't wait to see who's fighting today. I want to fight. Wait, that's not where you go. That's the throne room. So if you want to go see the proving, where would you go? I guess you'd leave. But you can't. Let's look at the map. Diamond. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Right over here. Oh, well. These dwarf cities are kind of confusing. I don't know why I think that, but... Yeah. They all look the same. My right? father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the diamond quarter during these celebrations. Yay. Okay, I'm not going to look around at the merchants. That's not the way you run. Jeez. I'm sure we can work this out reasonably. What was that? Usually when you hear people talking like that, you can talk to them. Please, Master Fong. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Balm. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lord Iduken, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduken, Paragon King, Peacemaker. What's going on here? This worm has written a book that slanders my house. Oh jeez, the phone. Okay. That's a serious charge. He deserves to die for what he has written of Paragon Volney. Tell me what it says, Scholar. My work tells the stories of all those raised Paragons in the last 500 years. When the Assembly names a Paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But Paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Get to the point, why is Brunton so angry? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. That's pretty true, actually. The scholar's right. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon I duke? The truth is more important than your pride. No, that doesn't sound like a very dwarf thing to say. Shut up now, Brunton. See, there you go. Do not order me about like some low-caste peon. This is not finished. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lord? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Should I have him killed or not? Do, but make it look like an accident. Understood. Wow, I feel like such a jerk right now. You've shown yourself more daring and aggressive today than most believed of you. Someday I hope to write of the great exploit 
tasks you are sure to perform. See, he's impressed. Word consent, he won't live past the hour. You've shown House Iduken a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Carry on with your work, scholar. Of course. I have much to document and organize. Good day, your highness. And thank you. Okay, well that was an interesting uh, occurrence. I think we're going to cut it here, though. Oh, my but friend. thanks for watching.